Hi, my name is Cece Reed. My pronouns are she, her, hers. And I am here to share an artist, a theater artist, who I am inspired by. Um, so I am deeply, forever, eternally inspired by Entezaki Shange, who was a playwright, dancer, creator, writer, poet, theater artist who passed away recently in 2018, Ashe. I am forever inspired by Ntozaki Shange because, ah, uh, where do I start? Where do I start? Um, she's best known for um, her play for color girls who have considered suicide when the rainbow is enough which is her choreo poem style play that is written um, in, with poetry and movement and music embedded into the body and breath and essence of the piece. And my mom had that play in the house as a child before I even knew anything about Ntozaki Shange or the play itself. I just remember seeing the cover with the the wall, the white tiled wall and the lettering and the image of a of a black woman on the cover. And having been introduced to her and her work in college, I that's the kind of work I want to create. I want to create work that is vulnerable and visible and moves, moves like music and moves like dance and air and breath. So every time I think about um, even the, the structure of how I want my story to begin and flow and transform, I think about for colored girls. Not in the essence, not in the way that I want to create for color girls or recreate it, but I want to access my own voice. I think what is so beautiful and magical and powerful about Etsasaki Shange is that she spoke the experiences and stories of so many colored girls, black girls, black women in her pieces. She really um, created this, this like transformative space with her words and her art for us to breathe and grieve and celebrate and cry and speak our traumas and speak the the pains and fury and fire and things that we have experienced and so as I continue to create my work as an artist I want to honor black girls and black women and honor the way in which we we breathe and take up space in this world. I think she has definitely forever modeled that we embody such such magic and space and power. And I remember that when I when I sit and write, I feel like I am a, you know, a, of a product of what she has created before me. Um, yeah. There's just so much to say. There's so much to say. Uh, for Color Girls was written in the 1970s. And it began, I learned this in college, it um, began in, it was performed in bars and clubs. And that's also something that made me go, hmm, when I was in college. This I, like she really, you know, shook up what theater was doing at the time. It wasn't necessarily about following this Western um, American theater standard, but actually she pulled in from her own talents as a poet, as a dancer, and as a mover to create this world of a play. And that's what I'm interested in. How can I create a world of a play that, that feels like me and my childhood and my joy and the way that I communicate and my rhythms and my speech and my movement. Even as I speak about her, I'm in movement and poetry. So Ntozaki Shange, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. She is an artist to know, to study, to read forever and ever. And I so look forward to reading her other plays because I've heard great and amazing things about her other plays. So I look forward to continuing to, to read and learn about her work as I create my own, my own creativity and my own plays.